This is my um, halfway video through the uh, Thrive program for emetophobia. So I started about uh, the end of November. Um, I am a master's student and I was experiencing a lot more anxiety um, and my emetophobia kind of grew again which had been kind of subdued for a little bit so I decided to take action and to look into something to address this um, so yeah I started by myself to go through the program uh, but then I really decided that I would like to do it with a consultant so I found Fiona and I've been working through it with her and I'm definitely doing a lot better than I was at the start. Um, I would say that I'm addressing my unhelpful thinking styles a lot better. I challenge my thinking every single day and I really focus on monitoring my thoughts and my uh, unhelpful thinking styles, my low self-esteem, and challenging them every time I have one that comes up. I'm really, really excited to thrive and to get to a happier place in my life and I know that the answer comes from within me. At first I was a bit, uh, it was a bit daunting to know that nothing was happening to me. I was creating this but now I see it as a real blessing because if it's not outside of me and it's within me that means that I can make the changes to my life. And just learning about all the unhelpful thinking styles and my external locus of control, things I had never really thought about, and how even just the emetophobia has nothing to do with being sick, but everything to do with losing control, really, really resonated with me. And I saw it in different aspects of my life. My father passed away a few years ago, and I remember thinking to myself that I didn't want to cry because I didn't think I would be able to stop. So... It's really, obviously, it's my thinking style, so it's pervasive across all aspects of my life, but I'm really working hard at addressing that. I would say that I've really been focusing on just answering every single negative thought that comes my way. I don't, uh, I work against reinforcing them now instead of working and kind of snowballing them because of course I still have those thoughts uh, obviously they're a lot less but I do still have them which makes sense it's a pattern it's a habit and it takes time to retrain my brain but I see it as an opportunity to really put in more effort when I do have a lot of thoughts of negative thoughts if I have an anxious um, something that I'm giving myself anxiety over it's just more of an opportunity to kind of break down those beliefs and and that wall of unhelpful thinking because I'm really putting in the work to challenge myself so I'm home for Christmas right now and that was a big challenge for me um the last time I was home I, I was really anxious and so I've really seen it as this is a great time to really challenge your thinking because you're you might have a lot more negative thoughts and honestly it's gone really really well that's not to say I still don't have a blips and anything like that but that's part of the learning process um, and I'm just really focusing on answering all those thoughts and not just letting them uh, get through and reinforcing them with more negative thoughts I would say that's what I'm doing really well um, I'm enjoying the process I'm really being positive with myself uh, and I'm not giving up on myself and I'm really focusing on trying to maintain perspective and not just go into my tunnel vision and just even noticing the unhelpful thinking styles that uh, come up. So if it's perfectionist, brooding, obsessive, I'll kind of um, notice them and categorize them like this is what I'm doing here and I can change it because I know now that what I'm thinking is not reality, which I before thought it was, and I would very much focus on what I didn't want to happen, which of course would happen. But instead I focus on what I do want to happen and know that my thoughts are just a belief and a belief is not reality. It's just me seeing a situation through my um, perspective and my unhelpful filters. So I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to keep working on this and I'm trying new things every day, um, teaching myself new skills to show myself that I can um, 
do anything I set my mind to. So I'm excited.